The treatment for testicular cancers depends on whether it is a seminoma or a non-seminoma. First, we will discuss the treatment for seminoma. The treatment options for stage 1 seminoma are surveillance, radiation therapy or chemotherapy. Surveillance is usually preferred from T1 to T3 disease. The final decision is taken by the oncologist after assessing the patient's condition and discussing all the treatment options with the patient. For stage 2 seminoma, the treatment depends on whether it is stage 2A, 2B or 2C. For stage 2A, the treatment options are radiotherapy or chemotherapy. For stage 2B also, chemotherapy and radiotherapy are the treatment options, but chemotherapy is preferred over radiotherapy in most of the cases. And for stage 2C, chemotherapy is the treatment of choice. For stage 3 disease also, chemotherapy is the treatment of choice. So these were the treatment options for seminomatous germ cell tumors. But the final decision is taken by the oncologist after assessing the condition of the patient and discussing with the patient the toxicities with various treatments. After I received chemotherapy for seminoma, doctor did the surgery. He told me I had some residual disease after chemotherapy. Yes, in some cases of seminoma, residual disease may be present even after chemotherapy. In such cases, surgery may be required depending upon the scan findings. And if viable tissue is found after surgery, further chemotherapy may be given. Yes, in some cases of seminoma, residual disease may be present even after chemotherapy. In such cases, surgery may be required depending upon the scan findings. And if viable tissue is found after surgery, further chemotherapy may be given. We come to the treatment for non-seminomatous germ cell tumors. The treatment options for stage 1 non-seminoma are surveillance, surgery or chemotherapy. Surveillance is usually preferred in T1 disease. The surgery that is done for non-seminomatous germ cell tumors is called as retroperitoneal lymph node dissection or RPLND. In this, the retroperitoneal lymph nodes are removed. Treatment for stage 2 non-seminomas depends on whether the markers are S0 or S1, that is whether they are normal or elevated. If the markers are elevated, then chemotherapy is the treatment of choice. For stage 2 disease with normal markers, the treatment depends on whether it is stage 2A, 2B or 2C. For stage 2A disease, the treatment options are surgery or chemotherapy. For stage 2B disease also, the treatment options are the same, but chemotherapy is preferred over surgery. And for stage 2C disease, chemotherapy is the treatment of choice. For stage 3 disease also, chemotherapy is the treatment of choice. So, these were the treatment options for non-seminomatous germ cell tumors. Again, always remember that of all the treatment options, the final decision is taken by the oncologist after assessing the condition of the patient and discussing the various treatment options with the patient. After my surgery for non-seminoma, I was given chemotherapy also. In some cases, after surgery, chemotherapy may be required, depending upon the stage of the disease.